Hello there and welcome back. In this video, uh, we are going to take a look at a tool which I recently discovered or found out. And basically the tool's name is Warpgate. And Warpgate is going to allow you to have a tool which allows you to jump to different hosts with SSH or HTTP and so on. And technically, in this video, I want to show you how you can set it up. And this is the basically the flow, the way it works. So we have the warp gate, which allows users from the internet to access LAN or private cloud devices in an authorized manner, so to speak. So the first thing that I want to do is to spin up my CentOS 9 machine. This is a Parallels virtual machine that I'm using most of the time to experiment. And I'm going to go ahead, open up my terminal and make this a little bit bigger for you. So <clears throat> technically what we have to do is to download the Warpgate executable. This is the CentOS 9 machine and let's acquire sudo prompt and we are going to go to the releases and download the appropriate one. So we are using ARM64 Linux system and we use the wget to download it. Once the download completes, we have to move it to the user bin directory and make it executable. So let's wait for it. It takes around <laughs> a few seconds to do this. Okay. So let's move warp gate to the user bin warp gate file and use the chmod plus x user bin warp gate. So now it we should be able to execute it and now we can call the warp gate setup command. This is going to ask us a couple of questions and basically it will ask for the directory to store the app data what would be the endpoint to listen for HTTP connections, whether we want to accept SSH, what would be the port, whether we want to accept MySQL connections, and what should be the port, and we want to record. And we have to set an admin user password, and basically that's it. Now we can use this command, which is mentioned here, to execute WarpGate. And first, what we are going to do is to open up Firefox. And with the help of Firefox, we are going to use HTTPS, send to S9, And after this is done, Why is it not letting me to? What is going on? So, HTTPS, CentOS 9, 8888. You see this? <laughs> It is simply not letting me log in there. Okay, let's try it with here. Show details, we can visit the page. Great. So admin and the password. And here we can go and manage WarpGate. And what we have to do 
is to go to the config section and basically we have to specify a user that we want to use. What I did was to specify my user which allows me to use my public key to log into this machine and here are the logs as I'm browsing this. So technically if I say CentOS 9 it is going to authenticate with public key if I go Debian 12, it will authenticate with public key. Oh, let's kick off that machine as well. Okay. While it is loading, let's go back to the configuration section. What we can do is to specify an access instruction against different remote hosts and what we have to do is to go under the SSA section and grab these uh, keys which will be used by Warpgate to log in to that machine. So for example if I want to log in to my Debian 12 machine I have to go ahead and edit the SSH authorized keys file. Currently I have it added. So if I go back and get the instruction for the Debian 12, this is the right one, I can go to my terminal and log in to the Debian machine and it should work however that's going to be it this is the right one and it should allow us to go there as a stage debian 12 maybe i authorized keys and it should not be vi it should be nano dot ssh authorized keys and no we don't want to great so here we are at the config, this is the username, and this should be the login. So admin at Debian, which is reaperpy at Debian. Great, and now, uh, uh, technically, this is how you specify what user you want to use to log into what system through the warp gate host and this is the port that we are using who am i what am i etc and so on and if i go to the sessions and i check that here is my uh, reaper pi session against the debian machine I also have a uh, session recording. So everything I type here, since I allowed it through the configuration, will be present. So if I start Python 3 and exit out of it and so on, you can see the commands. All right. And I have another machine, which is called Azure Pi and I want to set it up as well from the zero, so to speak. So let's go to the Azure machine. And what I want to do is to first, under SSH, add the appropriate keys. So we grab it from Warpgate, SSH copy, and paste it 
and copy and paste it and save it. All right, the next thing that we want to do is to go ahead and go to the CentOS 9 machine and edit the Etsy host file. And we are going to say that this is not the right one. We want the IP. So technically, Azure Pi is the machine. And now we can use it. So ping Azure Pi. It will not respond to ping, but it will load our IP address. And if I go back to Warpgate under configuration, I can add a new target. And this is going to be an SSH target. Let's create a, this one. This is the target host. This is the name. And the username is going to be ReaperPy. And technically, this should be it. And update the configuration file. And if I go here and check it once again, I should be able to go here, issue the command. So Reaper Pi. And I trust this key. And now I was able to log in to my Azure virtual machine. So this is how easy it is to set it up. And we have the option to add targets for MySQL and HTTP. And the other thing that I want to see is whether we can install it as a systemd service. So let's come out of here, go back to the CentOS 9 window and edit this file, or the unit. So everything is basically the default. And now we can use the system CTL daemon reload and we can enable Warpgate and journal ctl dash xe system ctl status warp gate okay code exited Maybe this is going to be the problem. No, that's not the program problem. What is or what could be? Uh, the init file source changed on disk. Daemon reload. Reload. Let's start it. Oh. And that's the problem. So SE Linux uh, caught this status. And now if I go back to my Warpgate web interface, I can use the admin and the password. And 
and based on config, I should be able to go ahead and SSH to my Azure machine through the warp gate. And voila. So now if I go to the session, you can see this is the session log that we are using. So technically that was all I wanted to show you. See you in the next one.